Hey guys, it's Freeman 91 and I'm giving my top 5 bold prediction for the Nintendo Switch 2. Yep, now we don't really know much about it yet. We don't know when it's coming out. I think I think I think most of us think it's going to come out next year. Now I'm just going to give my top 5 bold predictions and God willing see how much of them are right. Number 1, it will still remain a portable console. I just think that's the one of the biggest things the Switch has going for it. One of the biggest reasons why it was such a success, the biggest reason of course being God's blessing. But one of the biggest reasons is that it was a portable console that could play AAA games. So I really think they're going to keep that aspect of it in the next console. Number two, it will be 4K in docked mode and 1080p in portable mode. I really think that they're going to probably go for an 8-inch screen and that it's going to be able to play 4K at 60 FPS while docked and it's going to be able to play 1080p at 60 FPS or maybe even 120 FPS, but probably just 60 while portable. I really don't think they have a reason to go much higher than that because when it's in like your hand, I don't think you really need it to be 4K because it's such a small screen. And I really don't think they have a reason to go to 8K yet. I mean, like, I think 8K is pretty far off for consoles. So I really think 4K in docked and 1080p while in portable mode, I think that's what it's going to be. Number three, price, $349.99. I really think Nintendo benefits from pricing their consoles so at, at, at many times. So I really think that Nintendo is going to be cheaper than even the series and the PS5. And I know they could do that at 399 but I really think 349 is that sweet spot. But I really think that's the price they should probably aim for. Number four, it will be backwards compatible. Now I understand that Nintendo and backwards compatibility, that's not a big thing because like when, of course, the SNES came out, it did not play NES games. And then when the SEC4 came out, it did not play SNES games. But I really think with the Switch, I think they're going to keep the cartridges. And I think they're going to probably just improve on them. And they're, and they're going to be backwards compatible. I really think they may even upscale, like the graphics and whatnot. And I really think that that will cause people to want to buy the Switch 2 faster because if the Switch 2 comes out, and it can't play Switch games. Some people may be like, no, I'll stick in my Switch games for now. I'll get the Switch 2 out later. But if it's backwards compatible, I think they may go like, okay, might as well buy it now. So I really think it's going to be backwards compatible when it comes out. And number five, the big bold prediction. You will still be able to put the cartridge in and play. Now what I mean by that? Well, you know how most consoles, like the PS4 and the Xbox Series X, of course, you can't really just put in games and play them. You have to download them. Ever since like the Xbox One and the PS4, I believe, you had to download games, basically. So you couldn't really just plug and play or whatever you call it in that sense. But I really think Nintendo will keep that aspect. Yes, certain games on the Switch still need to download even if you buy the cartridge. But I really think they're going to keep that aspect of it, especially with their own games, that for a good amount of them, you're just going to be able to put them in the Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever it's going to be called and play them. You're not going to have to download anything. You may have to have an update now and again, but you're not going to have to have these big giant downloads that are going to take a while to, before you actually can start playing your game. That's my five bold predictions. Now, what are yours? And do you guys agree with my bold predictions? Or do you guys think no? Whatever you think, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.